Chapter 31 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Demonstration of the Eight Extreme Palms in the Great Hall of Chinyan Hearing that the sect master had decided to personally present the Eight Extreme Palms in front of the entire sect's disciples. The entire hall stirred up instantly with a huge wave of noise. Not to mention the disciples of the martial arts training peak and the disciples of the service hall, even the six elders were extremely excited when they heard the news. John Lingren personally demonstrating the martial arts technique, one that was created by the sect master himself. It was truly a rare sight even in a hundred years. This sentence was not exaggerated at all. Ever since 70 to 80 years ago, John Lingren no longer looked after the affairs of the sect. The main responsibility of the sect had been transferred to the first elder Song Xiuwen. As for the matters related to cultivation guidance, apart from the first four disciples of Jean Lingren receiving guidance from him, the remaining disciples were all under the guidance of the second and fourth elder, Yu Yang and Yu Haoming respectively. Therefore, for Mo Hong and the other disciples, not only do they view Yu Yang and Yu Haoming as their senior brothers, but they also respected them as a master. Today, the sect master of Qingyun, Zhang Lingren, will personally demonstrate his martial arts techniques and pass it on to everyone. Naturally, everyone was very excited. Everyone looked at the teen in the Qingyun Hall with grateful expressions. If it wasn't for Victor, they might have never been able to witness Zhang Lingren personally teaching a martial arts skill in their entire lives. Zhang Lingren lifted his hand. The originally bustling hall instantly quieted down, leaving only rapid breathing to be heard. This eight extreme palms of mine is different from ordinary martial arts skills. It focuses on the combination of motion and stillness, intertwined with one another. Jean Lingren slowly walked to the center of the square in the Great Hall of Qingyun. He lowered his hands, bent his fingers slightly, and spread his legs parallel to each other. Then, he slowly raised his arms to the front of his chest, formed a half-dot circle with his left arm and extended his right palm. He said, this is the starting stance of the eight extreme palms. Subsequently, Jean Lingren's body began to move. One move after another was continuously deduced, flowing like water, interconnecting with each other without stopping. Yu Haoming and the others did not dare to blink, afraid that they would miss out on any move. In everyone's perception, Jean Lingren's hands were sometimes as heavy as a mountain, sometimes as light as a feather, fast yet slow. Jean Lingren's hands formed a circle. It looked as if he had fused several types of energy into one. About 15 minutes later, Jean Lingren's hands drooped naturally. He returned to the initial stance of the motion. Although Jean Lingren was already at an old age, he was even more energetic spiritually after finishing the palm technique. The characteristics of this palm technique can be summarized with a phrase, the coexistence of fantasy and reality. As long as you can grasp this trait of the technique, you will be able to understand the essence of this palm technique. Song Xiuwen and the other elders were thinking hard at the side. Jean Lingren had only performed it once. Many people had gained a great understanding of this palm technique, but they were unable to form a clear result. Now, they could only memorize to experience it slowly in the future. Compared to the others, Yu Haoming had gained a lot more. He had basically learned all the moves, but there were still some details that needed to be perfected. Otherwise, it would not be fluent if he were to use it. As for this palm technique, the basic requirement was for it to be smooth and connected. If it was not linked together, the power would be halved. Zhang Lingren saw the confused look on Yu Yang's face and asked, How much do you know? Yu Yang quickly replied, I'm stupid. I only understood 40%, but I have remembered all the moves. Zhang Lingren then looked at Yu Haoming, who was beside Yu Yang. I'm stupid. I only understood 50%. Next, Zhang Lingren asked all the other disciples present. Most of them gave similar answers. They all answered 30% to 40% or even 20% to 30%. Jean Lingren sighed. Sigh, in terms of comprehension ability, it's still up to the fifth brother. 
If he were here, he would have understood 60% to 70%. Unfortunately, he's not here. Speaking of Zhang Qishan, Zhang Lingren's heart was in pain. Victor heard Zhang Lingren sigh. Although he knew that Zhang Qishan was not dead, he did not know how to console him. Victor, what about you? Seeing Victor, Zhang Lingren's sadness faded. Fortunately, God blessed him with Victor's appearance in Qingyan sect. Moreover, as Zhang Lingren's disciple. Under everyone's expectant gazes, Victor nodded his head. Good, good, you can demonstrate it to everyone. Zhang Lingren stroked his white beard in delight. The eight extreme palms was rather difficult. Zhang Lingren had no expectations of Victor to reach the initial success stage in the first attempt. If Victor was able to reach the third stage and thoroughly understand the stages, he would be satisfied. However, in the next moment, Zhang Lingren was stunned. His eyes were filled with disbelief. In the Great Hall of Qinyan, Victor was steadily displaying his eight extreme palms. He had the appropriate control for each and every move and stances. This, this was not the master stage at all, it had at least reached the perfection stage. Moreover, this fluency was almost on par with him, the creator. The corner of Jean Lingren's mouth twitched a little. It seemed that he had underestimated Victor's talent. The elders standing by the side were also stunned. In Yu Haoming's perspective, Victor's eight extreme palms was even better than Jean Lingren's demonstration. When the other disciples saw this scene, they were also shocked speechless. After being stunned for a few seconds, these disciples quickly opened their eyes wide and studied Victor's performance. After all, to be able to see the sect master's ultimate self-created skill again was an opportunity in which they had to cherish. At the side, Yu Haoming was no longer satisfied with just watching. He took action and started followed Victor's movements to practice. However, compared to Victor's demonstration, Yu Haoming's movements were much more awkward. Seeing Yu Haoming's initiative, the other elders also began to move. Under the leadership of the elders, many disciples of the Qinyun sect also began to practice appropriately. It was as if all the teachers and students were doing group morning exercises. Dot however, at this moment, second elder Yu Yang looked at the people practicing martial techniques with envy. There was nothing he could do. In order to stop a plot against the Qinyun sect, he fell into the enemy's trap while he led his disciples for investigation. In the underground cave, huge rocks fell from the sky and he dedicated all of their strength into his arms to break the fall. In the end, although his disciples were saved, his arms were crippled. His bones and vessels were all shattered and he had lost consciousness in his arms. Now that he had become useless, he could only use the mystic wood technique to warm his body and the wind technique could barely be performed through enduring the pain. Fifteen minutes later, Victor's palm technique was completed. As he stopped, everyone also completed a round of practice. Everyone lowered their heads and stood still, recalling the process over and over again. Second senior brother, don't you desire to be like everyone else? to be able to freely wave your arms and practice martial arts. Victor looked at Yu Yang and said. The sudden sentence made Yu Yang's envious eyes darken. In the past, he had made a name for himself with these very hands, but now he could only use them to teach his disciples. Seeing the second senior brother's face darken, Victor knew that he had pride opened a wound of his and said the wrong thing. He hurriedly said, Second senior brother, don't be discouraged. I meant, there is a medicine in this world that can cure your arm. Chapter 32 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Preparing to descend the mountain, what? Victor's voice had just faded away. The disappointment on Yu Yang's face was immediately replaced with shock and doubt. Yu Yang even suspected that he had heard wrongly. Could there really be such medicine in this world? He did not believe it. Ever since he was injured, he had sought out many famous doctors. But the outcome was the same every time. There was no cure. 
He felt that Victor had deliberately found an excuse to make up for his mistake because he had said harmful words. Second senior brother, I'm not lying to you. I think the name of this medicine is Jade Marrow Dew. Victor, who had seen through Yu Yang's thoughts, added. Boom. Yu Yang saw Victor's serious gaze and felt as if he had been struck by lightning. Seeing that Victor is a person being valued by his master and was able to speak to his master with confidence, he believed that his little junior brother would not sputter nonsense. At this moment, his heart, which had long given up, once again filled with a ray of hope. Really? Yu Yang practically roared out saying. Hmm, because of Yu Yang's violent reaction, the people who were deep in thought jolted, now awakened and looked towards Victor and Yu Yang. What's wrong? Zhang Lingren asked. Master. Little junior brother, little junior brother just, due to his excitement, Yu Yang felt his tongue was trembling. Master, it's nothing. I was talking to second senior brother just now. I said that I met an old herb dot picking man before and he told me about a medicine called jade marrow dew which had a miraculous effect on the treatment of bones and vessels. I just mentioned it casually. I didn't expect such a big reaction from second senior brother. Victor took over and explained himself. Really? Victor had just finished explaining when a few more people shouted, making his ears ring. Little junior brother, is what you said true? Where can the jade marrow do be found? Yu Haoming and the others were even more excited than Yu Yang when they heard that there was such medicine that could cure Yu Yang's arm. They surrounded Victor and nagged incessantly. Victor nodded helplessly. If he had known this would happen, he would have found a time to chat with second senior brother in private. Or, he might have waited until he had obtained the jade marrow dew before telling them. However, since he had already said it, he could only explain it slowly. I heard the herb dot picking elder mention it before. It seems that the Dayuan dynasty has it. The Dayuan dynasty. After Victor mentioned the specific location, the senior brothers fell into deep thought. Finally, the disciple dot accepting meeting came to an end. After leaving the Great Hall of Qinyun, Victor returned to his original accommodation and cleaned up a little. He had already been promoted as a Qinyun elder, so it was naturally impossible for him to live with ordinary disciples. He took a few clothes that he often wore and went straight to the courtyard that the first elder Song Xiuwen had arranged for him. Once he arrived at the courtyard and put his luggage away, Victor immediately went straight to the quiet room in the courtyard that was specially provided for individual cultivation. He began to cultivate. The first dot rate realm barely allowed him to hold his ground outside of the sect, but Victor felt that it was far from enough. I wonder how long it will take to break through from the beginner first dot rate realm to the Xientian realm with the beginner earth dot rank cultivation talent paired with the max level of the Qinyun mystic wood technique. At the same time, after Jean Lingren left the Great Hall, he went into seclusion again in order to cultivate and create the eight desolations sword technique and methods to absorb the true internal qi of others. As Victor and Jean Lingren entered seclusive cultivation one after another, the entire Qingyun clan slowly returned to its usual atmosphere. However, the difference was that the disciples of the Qingyun sect were all working harder than before. Morning to night. From the martial arts training peak to the servant hall, figures practicing martial arts or cultivation techniques could be seen everywhere. As time passed, if it wasn't for the fact that the disciples of the Qinyin sect would occasionally look in a specific direction, it would have seemed as if everyone had forgotten about the genius disciple named Victor. In the blink of an eye, another half a year had passed. On this day, Victor, who had been in seclusion for half a year, finally welcomed an opportunity for his breakthrough. In the courtyard, Victor, who was sitting cross-legged on the futon, suddenly trembled. Immediately after, an unexpected power erupted from his body and shot into the sky. At the same time, a disciple not far from his courtyard yelled suddenly. Is this, someone breaking through? One had to know that the stronger a warrior's talent was, the stronger their foundation was, 
and the more powerful their aura would be when they broke through. However, most people would restrain their aura when they broke through. This was to prevent others from finding out and plotting against them. However, Victor didn't need to worry about these problems, because he had absolute safety in the Qinyin sect. However, as they usually restrain themselves, if one didn't purposely feel for it, it would have been very difficult to sense it. And when a warrior broke through, their aura would be fully released. They could sense that aura even at a great distance. This aura, is coming from the direction of youngest elder's courtyard. Could it be that he had broken through again? He definitely broke through again. And he should have already reached the Xientian realm. F asterisk CK, in just half a year, he broke through from the beginner first dot rate realm to the beginner stage of the Xientian realm. He broke through an entire realm. It's too terrifying. Doesn't that mean that in another two years, the youngest elder will reach the level of the current elder, or even stronger? With Victor's breakthrough, the atmosphere of the Qinyun sect turned a little gloomy compared to before. At this moment, it suddenly became lively. The disciples who had been diligently training all this time also opened their eyes in unison. They looked in the direction of Victor's courtyard with anticipation. In the courtyard. Victor's eyes slowly opened, and then he frowned. I didn't expect that with the cultivation talent of beginner earth. Rank combined with the max level Qingyun mystic wood technique, it would actually take half a year to break through from the beginner first. Rate realm to the Xientian realm. According to the calculation of the cultivation speed, it should only take 4 to 5 months to break through. He didn't expect the cultivation to be stagnant for a month after reaching the final stage of the first dot rate realm. It seems that the max level Qingyun mystic wood technique is still not powerful enough. I didn't expect that it would take such a long time to break through the barrier between the first dot rate realm and the Xientian realm. Then, I would have to need to spend more energy and time to break through the later realms. Perhaps compared to others, his cultivation speed was already terrifying. However, Victor was still not satisfied. After all, in this world, other than martial arts, the path of immortality had already begun to take shape. He had to advance to the peak of martial arts as soon as possible, as that is the only way he could keep up with the pace of the world's top practitioners. Therefore, regardless of his being only 12 years old and had already reached the Xientian realm, he still felt that his strength was insufficient. And if he wanted his cultivation speed to become faster, there were only two paths for him now. First, download a stronger cultivation talent. Second, find a stronger inner strength cultivation method. However, the most powerful sect master of the Qingyun sect, Zhang Lingren, was already his master. Furthermore, he had already downloaded all of his talents. Earth.Rank talent might be a relatively high.Level talent, however there are many people who had a higher rank talent. Heaven.Rank cultivation talent was one of Victor's new goals. And Zhang Lingren's talent was only at the beginner stage of the Earth.Rank, which was the lowest among Earth.Rank talents. But Zhang Lingren was able to get to where he was today by relying on his talent in enlightenment and creating many cultivation methods and martial art techniques. Although he spent half his life on this, but it helped him obtain an adequate lifespan. With a powerful inner strength cultivation method that could rapidly increase one's cultivation level, the divine tree building technique was a very good choice. Therefore, he had to go down the mountain. Chapter 33 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. System update Looks like I have to make a trip to Tianluo Mountain. According to the game's plot, the tree building technique was obtained by Zhang Qishan's unforeseen encounter at Tianluo Mountain. Zhang Qishan had not since returned to the Qingyun sect, so the tree building technique must still be at Tianluo Mountain. In order to locate the tree building technique as soon as possible, he had to first find out the location of Qingyan Valley. Thunder Fist When he thought of the Qingyan Valley, Victor immediately thought of the Thunder Fist. The most valuable thing in Qinyan Valley was undoubtedly the Thunder Fist. The Thunder Fist was a very knowledgeable and powerful fist technique. In the introduction of the world of martial arts, 
Taoist I Chen had used the Thunder Fist, a top-dot-notch skill, to develop the Thunder Palm and many other Thunder techniques. With the Thunder techniques, he became the world's best, Grand Thunderer. And now, the Valley Master of Qinyan Valley, Wang Ji, was also the inheritor of the complete Thunder Fist technique. However, he still hadn't made a name for himself on the mainland. It wasn't that the Thunder Fist wasn't powerful, but it could only be said that those who cultivated it weren't very useful. I can go out for a walk and gain some experience. I'll see if I'll have the chance to meet a higher dot level cultivation talent. Thinking of this, Victor's determination to descend the mountain grew stronger. A year ago, Victor despised going down the mountain, mainly because he was weak. If he happened to have had a conflict with someone, his life would have been on the line. But now, it was different. In just a year, he had reached the Xientian realm. In addition, he had maxed out his wind technique, sword technique, and all kinds of other martial arts techniques. Even if he encountered a strong enemy, he believed that not many people would be able to stop him. Of course, there was another important point. He had been cultivating at the Qingyun sect for almost a year. Every day, he cultivated laboriously, causing his cultivation rhythm to be too intense. He needed to relax properly. Ding! The system has detected that the update condition has been met. In order to better serve the host, the host can choose to level up. Does the host wish to level up? At this moment, the system's notification suddenly sounded in Victor's mind. What, upgrade? Victor was stunned, and then immediately asked, System, if I choose to upgrade, what advantages will there be? How much time will it take to upgrade? Ding! After the system upgrades, it will be more powerful, more convenient for the host to download skills and talents. Most importantly, after the upgrade, new functions can be activated. The upgrade will take half a month. New functions. Can you tell me about it in advance? Ding. The system upgrade is not very stable. Please check the specific functions after the system upgrade. System, if the upgrade is not stable, will the original functions be affected after the upgrade? Victor felt that he had to clarify. If the system was destroyed because of the unstable update, he would suffer from great loss. Ding. Host, don't worry. Although the system update is unstable, it will not affect the previous functions, it will only strengthen them. With the system's guarantee, Victor decisively chose to upgrade. Perhaps he would receive a surprise when the time came. Ding. The system had begun the upgrade. Before the upgrade completes, the system's functions are temporarily unavailable. Host, please wait patiently for the system's return. Once the system started updating, Victor immediately packed his luggage and prepared to descend the mountain. At this moment, a person walked in. Congratulations to little junior brother for successfully advancing to the Xientian realm. Yu Haoming walked in with a complicated expression. He congratulated Victor along the way. After half a year, Yu Haoming felt uncomfortable whenever he saw Victor. He even wished to punch himself. If he had been more decisive back then and agreed to all of Victor's conditions, things would have been different. He might have been able to take Victor in as his disciple. It was a pity that Victor was now taken in as his master's disciple. Yu Haoming was so envious of Victor's cultivation talent that he was left speechless. How could there be such a monster in the world? It had only been a short while, but he had already reached the Xientian realm. Not being able to take him in as a disciple would be the greatest regret of his life. Thank you, fourth senior brother. Victor quickly returned the greeting. However, Victor was also a little puzzled. He asked, Fourth senior brother, did you come here to ask me something? Here's the deal. Didn't you mention last time that the Jade Marrow Duke could cure second senior brother's arm? In the past six months, we and many disciples of the Qingyun sect had been asking around. However, we discovered no news about the Jade Marrow Du. I came here today to ask you if you have any more specific clues. 
This way, it will be easier for us to look for it. Yu Haoming asked expectantly. I'm not sure about the more specific details. However, when I thought about it carefully, that herb dot picking old man's accent was rather strange. It was NT like ours, but more like the accent of the northern sides. Don't worry, senior brother. I'm planning to go down the mountain to explore, I will also find out more about the jade marrow dew along the way. Junior brother, are you really planning to go down the mountain? Yu Haoming asked in surprise. Normally, when the disciples of the Qinyin clan had reached the first dot class realm, their ages were around 20 years old, or even older. At that age, they tend to choose to descend the mountain for exploration. However, Victor's cultivation speed was so fast that Had was only 12 and had already reached the Xientian realm. In terms of strength, he had already met the requirements. However, in terms of age, he was still a child. Yes, after breaking through to the Xientian realm, I realized that the effects of my following cultivations were not very good. Maybe it's due to me being in secluded cultivation all year round. Therefore, I feel that I should explore the mountain this time. It might be beneficial for my cultivation skill. Victor knew that he had to report to the higher-ups if he wanted to go down the mountain. After all, his talent was too terrifying. He could be considered the most talented disciple of the Qinyin sect. The Qinyin sect would never allow a genius disciple to go down the mountain at will. What if he disappeared like the fifth elder of the Qinyin sect, Zhang Qishan, who used to be the second most talented disciple of the Qinyin sect, second only to the sect master, Zhang Lingren. This would be a great loss to the Qinyin sect. All right, but I'll go with you. Yu Haoming said decisively. That's fine. However, although I want to travel along with fourth senior brother, in order to get more information on the Jade Marrow do faster, I think we should split up. This way, the coverage will be wider. What do you think? Victor suggested. If Victor's sole intention was to explore the martial arts world, he naturally wouldn't mind traveling with Yu Haoming. After all, with a late dot stage Xientian realm expert like Yu Haoming by his side, the journey would be much safer. However, this time, he planned to go to Tianluo Mountain to search for the divine tree building technique. With Yu Haoming by his side, it would be very inconvenient. With Little Junior Brother's ability, I feel at ease. However, Little Junior Brother, you're too young and don't have much experience in the world. If you're traveling alone, your other senior brothers and our master definitely won't be at ease. I heard that Huafeng Junior Brother is quite close to you and has gone down the mountain several times. I asked him to go down the mountain with you. This way, our master and the others will be at ease. Good, fourth senior brother is indeed thoughtful. In order to make the sect rest assured, Victor agreed unquestionably. Chapter 34 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Descending the mountain the next day at noon. At the foot of Qingyun Mountain. Song Xiuwen and Yu Haoming repeatedly reminded Hua Feng that he had to take good care of Victor throughout the journey. Hua Feng patted his chest and promised repeatedly that even at the cost of his own life, he would ensure that Junior Elder remained safe. After hearing these words and feeling Hua Feng's determination, the two elders were finally willing to let him go. Little junior brother, when you're out adventuring, safety comes first. If you manage to get any news about the Jade Marrow Dew, remember to report to us immediately. Don't act alone, nag the elders. Only when the two of them were a distance away from the foot of Qinyin Mountain did Victor and Hua Feng looked at each other and smiled as if they had been relieved of a heavy burden. Without Song Xiuwen and Yu Haoming's nagging, especially the great elder Song Xiuwen, the two of them instantly felt that their ears were at peace. Junior elder, have you thought about where to go first? In terms of seniority, Hua Feng was Victor's senior. But in terms of strength, Hua Feng felt that he was far from being comparable to Victor. Most importantly, he was just an accompaniment for this trip down the mountain. Therefore, he still had to ask Victor about his decision on where to go. 
Because Victor had to learn how to ride a horse, there was still some delay from the initial time planned for set off. At 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, they finally arrived at an inn 50 miles away from Qingyun Mountain. As soon as they entered the inn, they could see many unique people from all over the world. Each of them was dressed differently, and they all looked exhausted from traveling. Victor decided to stay in this inn for the night. It was not an urgent matter to go to Tianluo Mountain to look for the tree building technique. He booked two rooms on the third floor at the reception desk. Then, Victor wanted to order some food to fix his hunger. He came to an empty table on the first floor of the inn and sat down. At this moment, a figure walked in from outside. Victor took a casual glance and his pupils contracted. This person was tall and had broad shoulders. He carried a long knife with a scabbard on his waist. He was wearing a light yellow sleeveless outfit, exposing his arms. Judging from his exposed arms, he was not bulky, but had a lean muscular figure, like Bruce Lee. There were many wrinkles on his face. He had thick eyebrows and big eyes, but he was so thin that his eye sockets had sunken. However, the pair of calm eyes of his were like the long scabbard knife that he had yet unsheathed. No one dared look at them directly. As he walked in, the initially bustling in suddenly quieted down. Many people couldn't help but place their hands on their weapons, as if it provided them with a sense of security. This person has such a powerful inner chi, in the inn. The people didn't dare to act rashly. They cautiously used their peripheral vision to keep track of this swordsman's movement. This person's aura was very strong, but his appearance was very unfamiliar to the people present. When did another powerful swordsman appear on the mainland? Logically speaking, with this person's age and strength, it was impossible for anyone who had seen him to not recognize him. However, they had never heard of such a person. Unless, everyone who had seen him, was dead. At this moment, Victor's eyes brightened. The more he looked, the more it looked like. F asterisk CK. This couldn't be Yan Kuen, right? Looking at this familiar yet unfamiliar outfit, Victor thought of the trailer for the world of martial arts, in which a figure of swordsman appeared for less than a second. This, can't be it. Can it be? Victor couldn't believe it. After many searches done by players, they finally found some information regarding this swordsman. His name was Yen Kuen. In the world of martial arts game, he was known as the fastest swordsman in the world. His strength was unfathomable. If he is really Yen Kuen, it means that the real big event is not far away. If that's the case, then there are still many monsters hidden on the mainland. Victor remembered the last scene in the trailer. Many big leaders were flying with swords and charging towards the evil dragon. His body shook instantly. He thought of many things. If it really was like the trailer. Unfortunately, the system is currently updating and upgrading. Otherwise, the system could have looked at the other party's attributes panel, and things would be clear. A trace of regret flashed across Victor's eyes. Just as Victor was lost in his thoughts, the other party had already come to Victor's side. Two little brothers, may I sit here? Victor came back to his senses and found that besides their table, the other tables were practically full. May I ask who you are? Although this person's appearance was very similar to Yen Kuen's. However, upon confirmation, Victor would not easily conclude that he was Yen Kuen. I am Yen Kuen. Victor was just asking casually, but he did not expect the other party to answer so straightforwardly and domineeringly. Boom. Hearing the other party's confirmation, Victor felt shocked as if he was struck by lightning. This. It really is him, ENVE although he had guessed it before, it still surprised Victor greatly after hearing it from him. This world was very big, and many sword men liked to wear sleeveless robes for the convenience of wielding their swords. Even if some people looked similar, it was normal. Moreover, in the trailer, there was only a shadow of the swordsman under the moonlight. However, now that he knew Yen Kuen's identity, Victor felt even more regretful. 
Yen Cohen was a person of integrity and determination. He enjoyed helping the weak. He had never done anything shameful in his life, he was the manliest hero. Most importantly, it was said that Yen Cohen was born with divine martial arts ability and his enlightenment ability was exceptional. He could learn any technique with one attempt and become proficient in it almost immediately. His martial arts ability were godly. Not only did he create the invincible fist technique, the dragon tooth killing fist, as well as an incomparably swift and aggressive sword technique, the blood shadow sword technique. He also possessed a top dot tier martial arts technique from the immortal martial world, the Tian Gang Godly Technique. It's a pity that the system is upgrading at this time. Otherwise, I might be able to download Yan Kuen's talents and techniques. Such a powerful hidden character appeared in front of him, but he was actually unable to download the other party's talents and techniques. Victor's heart was filled with regret. What? Do you know me? Yen Kuen, who was at the side, had noticed Victor's strange behavior and asked. I'm sorry, I was shocked by Senior's strength and was momentarily lost in thought. Victor's eyes were fixated on Yen Kuen as he replied. Hua Feng, who was standing at the side, saw Victor's reaction. Instantly, he was so scared that beads of sweat started rolling down his forehead. All the word travelers were always careful, afraid of offending others. None of them would act like Victor. Senior, I'm sorry. My junior elder is still young and ignorant. Please forgive him if he did something wrong. Hua Feng squeezed out a smile and explained. His other hand was under the table, tugging at Victor's sleeve, reminding him to be careful with his way or words. Junior elder. Hearing Hua Feng's words, Yen Kuen scanned Victor up and down in surprise. Then, his pupils constricted slightly. How is this possible? It would have been fine if he didn't investigate, but once he did, Yen Kun was stunned. This kid, a young boy around the age of ten, had actually reached the Xientian realm. Moreover, his realm was very stable. It wasn't the kind of method where rich families used valuable items to forcefully increase the strength of their family members. But a down dot to dot earth, Step dot by dot step training was used to reach this Xientian realm. Chapter 35 You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Yen Kuen's shock, this kid is a real monster. On the surface, Yen Kuen did not look any different from his usual appearance. But in truth, there was a huge uproar in his heart. So it's swordsman Yen, please sit. Victor stood up and extended his hand to invite Yen Kuen to sit. He would not simply believe everyone's information of Yen Kuen in the discussion forum, but sharing a table and having a meal together was not a problem. Junior Elder, upon seeing Victor's actions, Hua Feng broke out into cold sweat. Didn't he see the reactions of the others in the inn? If they were to have a meal with such a foreign strong person, with his power, they would not even have the time to react if the other party attacked. At this moment, the stern orders of Song Xiuwen and Yu Haoming when they descended the mountain appeared in Hua Feng's mind once again. No, he had to keep Junior Elder away from this swordsman. Hua Feng decided that even if he had to sacrifice himself, he would let Junior Elder Victor leave this dangerous inn. Just as he was about to shout to attract the opposite party's attention, he felt Junior Elder Victor's right hand pressing hard on his shoulder. Victor glared at him and interrupted Hua Feng's behavior, saying, It's okay. Swordsman Yen is full of righteousness and doesn't look like a bad person. He definitely won't bully children like us. Am I right, Swordsman Yen? Haha, <laughs> Yen Kuen laughed and said, Little brother, with your capabilities, there are no more than five people in this inn who can bully you. However, you are wrong about one thing. If you kill innocents indiscriminately and do all kinds of evil, even children should be punished accordingly. It's only right and proper for you to pay with your life. What a powerful aura! Hua Feng sighed in his heart. Hearing Yan Kuen's response, especially the last few words, he trembled in fear. However, Yan Kuen's cold face suddenly became soft. 
He smiled and said, this is the territory of the Qinyan sect. Judging from your Qinyan clan robe, if I'm not mistaken. Little brother, you're not only a disciple of the Qinyan sect, but also the new disciple of sect master Zhang, right? A few months ago, sect master Zhang took in another disciple. It must be you. You, Hua Feng, who had been on high alert and had his guard on Yan Kuan all this while, was shocked when he heard Yan Kuan's words. He was shocked to hear what Yan Kuan had said. He gripped the edge of the stool tightly with both hands. Big brother, you have a good eye. I am indeed the sect leader's new disciple. My name is Victor. Seeing that his identity had been recognized, Victor did not hide and admitted to it. After all, with the other party's strength, if he really wanted to make a move against Victor, they had no chance against him. Most importantly, Victor did not feel any malicious intent from Yen Kuen. Yen Kuen, who was at the side, heard Victor's straightforward answer. He could not help but be stunned. This kid was actually so calm while handling his inquiries. He was very calm from the beginning to the end. He really was extraordinary. Sect leader Zhang is really lucky to receive such a talented and sensible disciple. Yen Kuen looked at Victor, his eyes filled with enthusiasm, and his mouth was full of praise. This expression was the exact same as when Zhang Lingren saw Victor and decided to take him as a disciple. In the world of martial arts, taking in a disciple was a very important aspect. In reality, for every master, the status of a disciple was equal to that of their children. As the old saying goes, once a teacher, always a father. Therefore, in the first half of a warrior's life, they would do their best to pursue the limits of martial arts. In the latter half of their life, they would hope to find a few talented, obedient and sensible disciples to inherit their knowledge. In Yen Kuen's eyes, Jean Lingren's martial arts life, whether it was the first half or the second half of his life, was essentially perfect. No, brother, I'm lucky to be able to take the sect leader as my master. Victor corrected him. Yen Kuen's eyes lit up. Good, well said. It was already hard to find a disciple with outstanding talent. Moreover, a disciple who even respected his master was one in ten thousand. Brother, where are you going? Victor's eyes flashed. If they were going the same way. When the system update was completed, he could download it. Victor's eyes were filled with anticipation. Not to mention Yen Kuen's talent, his blood shadow sword technique was an incredibly powerful set of sword techniques. An. Tiangang godly technique and so on. Hua Feng, who was beside him, cursed when he heard this. Big brother, is there a need to ask such a question, when one enters the world, the most taboo thing was to inquire about other people's private affairs. Where they came from, where they went, these were all taboo. Hua Feng directly sat on Victor's side from the east side of the square table. He looked at Yan Kuen nervously and reminded Victor in a low voice, Junior Elder, don't ask what you shouldn't ask. Seeing Hua Feng's actions, Victor wasn't bothered. Through the exchange just now, he was sure that Yan Kuen's character was consistent to the summary in the forum. Although Yan Kuen had killed countless people, he had killed those who deserved to be killed. Hearing Victor's question, Yen Kuen suddenly sighed and said, I'm on a journey to complete a personal matter. Yen Kuen did not hide it, of course, he did not say it in detail. He said it in a very general manner. However, Victor already had a rough idea of what Yen Kuen was going to do next. If he remembered correctly, no matter how good your relationship with Yen Kuen was, he would never truly acknowledge you unless he had completed his revenge. Yen Kuen had spent his entire life working hard for this one thing and that was to avenge his sister Yen Yen. And the culprit for Yen Yen's death was her fiancé, Jian Wan. Yen Kuen glanced at Victor and Hua Feng and asked, what about you two? Victor was about to speak, but Hua Feng immediately interrupted him. He said, we're just out for a stroll. We don't have any special aims. We're just looking around. 
Seeing Hua Feng's vague answer, Yan Kuen only smiled and didn't ask any more questions. Not long after, the dishes the three of them ordered were finally served. Meanwhile, Victor and Yen Kun were chatting while eating. Those who weren't aware of the situation would think that they were old friends that had recently reunited. Brother, Jiangnan is a good place. If you have the time, you can go there for a walk. Perhaps you will gain some findings. Before parting, Victor left a message for Yen Kun. Victor naturally wanted to go with Yen Kuen. It was not easy to meet him. Putting aside the talent that would take a long time to download, he had to at least download one of Yen Kuen's cultivation methods and martial arts techniques. However, this would be different from his original plan. He had two goals. One was to find the tree building technique. The other was to go to the northern wilderness and get his hands on the jade marrow dew. Yen Kuen's goal was to find Jiang Wan. He was looking for clues everywhere. It would definitely be different from Victor's path. Moreover, if he met with an accident, he would return empty. Handed. So, is following the other party around or his original plan more secure? Most importantly, Yen Kuen was dealing with his own personal matters. It would not be easy for an outsider like him to blend in. Half an hour later, the three of them were full from drinking and eating. It had to be said that Yen Kuen's appeal was really strong. Even Hua Feng drank two big bowls of wine with him and let his guard down. In the end, Yen Kuen took a short break and bid farewell to Victor and Hua Feng. Victor and Hua Feng planned to take a good rest for the night. After all, they would need to travel non-stop for a period of time. The next day, Early in the morning, Victor and Hua Feng headed west. Half a month later in the evening, they arrived at the foot of Tianluo Mountain. Chapter 36 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Slaughter of the Great Snake at Night Under a huge tree in Tianluo Mountain Beside the bonfire Hua Feng licked his fingers repeatedly. He clicked his tongue in admiration as he licked. Can you be more mature? Victor rolled his eyes at Hua Feng speechless. It was too embarrassing. Ah, it was too delicious. I couldn't help it. Hua Feng raised his head and recalled his actions just now. He looked embarrassed. Victor smiled helplessly and looked around. Darkness enveloped them within the surrounding twenty meters. Their bonfire was like a lighthouse in the night. Junior Elder, why did you want to come to Tianluo Mountain? Hua Feng dared not ask along the way. Now that they were at the foot of Tianluo Mountain, he could not resist the urge anymore. Why so many questions? Anyways, we are out on an adventure. It doesn't matter where we go. I just heard that the Tianluo Mountain is known as one of the top five mountains in the world, so I wanted to come and have a look. As for the Qinyan Valley, I heard that the master living there has an exceptional fist technique that is not inferior to our Qinyan eight extreme palms. I intend to ask for some guidance. Victor had already prepared an excuse. Leveled to the sect master's eight extreme palms. There is such a great fist technique. Hua Feng was astonished when he heard this. Don't talk so much nonsense, hurry up and cultivate. Look at you. You are already 18 years old, but you are still in the second dot rate realm. Ah. Uh. In our Qinyan clan, a disciple who had reached the second dot rate realm by the age of 18 is already quite outstanding. Junior Elder, do you think everyone is wickedly strong like you? Just as Victor was about to give Hua Feng a good scolding, the long dot awaited system voice finally sounded in his mind. Ding. System update complete. Hearing the news of completion for the update, Victor could not wait to ask about the new functions of the system. The system wasted no time and immediately introduced the general functions. Apart from the original three functions of downloading, fusion, and investigation of the attribute panel, a new function was added, paste. At the same time, a repository was added for downloads. In the future, 
the talents and techniques that he downloads would be directly placed in the repository. The function of paste allows pasting downloaded talents and techniques onto someone else. System, that's odd. Why would I paste the downloaded talents and techniques onto someone else? Victor frowned. Suddenly, his eyes animated. He suddenly understood the true purpose of pasting. Some of the talents and cultivation methods that he could not use, he could download them and paste them onto his friends and fellow apprentices. Ding. Host, please take note, to ensure the host's absolute status, the host has the ability to retrieve the talents and techniques that have been pasted onto others at will. After hearing the system's announcement, instantly, Victor was completely relieved. This new function was perfect. Not only could it strengthen one's own party, but it could also prevent traitors. After the system's detailed explanation, Victor now understood the specifies of the system. Because his cultivation had reached the Sientian realm, the system's coverage had reached 100 meters. The speed of downloading techniques and cultivation methods was related to three factors. Cultivation level, distance, and talent. That a download progress bar had been added to the attribute panel. Victor could use the progress bar to track the download statuses. Victor thought for a moment and immediately understood. Now that the system had been upgraded, the download time could be affected by manipulating variables. Furthermore, these three variables has the ability to shorten the download time greatly. After understanding the functions of the newly upgraded system, Victor's mood became strangely happy. Glancing at Hua Fong who had already entered the state of cultivation by the bonfire, Victor's eyes flickered. It seemed that the new function of the system could help him repay Hua Feng's kindness. I'll go to Qingyan Valley tomorrow and see if I encounter any better talents. When the time comes, this guy is not bad, just that his cultivation talent is a little weak. Hua Feng's cultivation talent was only at level 8. If he didn't change it, Hua Feng would never be able to reach Xientian realm. Junior Elder, according to what the herb gatherer said yesterday, we should arrive at Qinyan Valley after crossing that mountain. At this moment, the sky just started to brighten. After having a good meal, Victor and Hua Feng continued their journey. However, they still couldn't see their destination after crossing the mountain. Although they met some passer. Bice and got some details regarding the valley, it was still a rather difficult task to actually locate it. Ha! Huh. Victor's wind technique suddenly stopped, and he fell from the tree. What's wrong, Junior Elder? Hua Feng, who was barely able to keep up with Victor using his own wind technique was following closely behind. Due to Victor's sudden stop, he almost knocked his head against a big tree. Someone is here. Someone is here. Yes, someone is screaming and venting his anger. Qin Yen Valley. Hua Feng's eyes lit up. There were indeed many forces located in the Tianluo Mountain. However, the Tianluo Mountain stretched for thousands of miles and each force was far apart from each other. If people appeared here, they had to be from Qinyan Valley. As long as they followed this person, they would definitely be able to find Qinyan Valley. It can't be wrong. Victor nodded. Let's go. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Victor and Wang Chen had just advanced a little when they heard a strange animal's cry coming from the canopy of large trees before them. Who's there? Wang Chen, who was currently roaring, did not even bother to hide his ferocious appearance. He hated people disturbing him the most. Not long after, two figures walked out from the big tree in front of them. They saw Victor and Hua Feng. One of them was only eleven or twelve years old while the other was older, at most 17 or 18 years old. Most importantly, the two people looked very strange. Outsiders. Wang Chen, who was holding back his anger, seemed to have found a target to vent when he saw Victor and Hua Feng. Since they were both outsiders, they deserved to die. Sir. Hua Feng was about to step forward to ask, but was interrupted by the fierce roar of the opposite party. Great snake, bite them to death. 
Hua Feng glanced over and saw a huge snake with a circumference as thick as a bucket suddenly appearing from the top of the tree beside the young man. Under the illumination of the light, the red scales of the huge snake gleamed. The snake was like an arrow that had left the bow. It opened its bloody mouth and charged towards the two of them. Oh no! Be careful, Junior Elder! Hua Feng suddenly shielded Victor behind him. Victor took in everything in front of him calmly. If he had not guessed wrongly, the young man in front of him was Wang Chen, the son of the Qinyan Valley Master, Wang Ji. In his previous life, Victor had also learned about the plot of the world of martial arts. When Wang Chen was younger, Wang Ji fed him with all kinds of medicinal herbs and threw him into the snake cave as a lure. Finally, he let the snakes in the cave to devour each other, leaving the strongest one to be fed with Wang Chen's blood. In his previous life, Victor still felt a little pity for Wang Chen. Now, all he felt was disgust. The three of them had just met. To kill someone without any explanation, how can one be so cruel? Don't hold back, kill. Victor cold words, caused Hua Feng to suddenly quiver. The voice had such murderous intent, unexpectedly coming from the mouth of Junior Elder, who was only twelve years old. However, although normally Junior Elder wasn't as kind as the other elders. But, he was rather easy to communicate with. This was the first time he had seen Junior Elder being so decisive. Chapter 37 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Spiritual Root Seeing the huge snake charge towards him with its mouth wide open, Hua Feng could smell the fishy smell from the snake's mouth. The malicious aura caused his entire body to tremble involuntarily. Victor, who was beside him, snickered. In the next second, whoosh! 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 A few dazzling swords flashed by. Bang! The huge snake, which was aggressive just a moment ago, had its head and body split into several pieces. On the ground, the poisonous blood and flesh of the snake along with its destroyed internal organs corroded the plants. Wang Chen and Hua Feng were also stunned by such a fierce and violent sword technique. Hua Feng could tell that this was a high dot level sword technique, the seven stars sword technique, you, you dared to kill the great snake. My father will never forgive you. Wan Chen looked at the blood and flesh of the snake on the ground, his face filled with disbelief. After all, the life of this snake had more importance than his own. And this little brat in front of him actually killed it. I don't care who you are. Since you launched an attack on me, whether it's a human or a snake, they all deserve to die, said Victor. It was impossible for him to need to suffer or even be killed just because of Wang Chen's bad mood. Victor's voice was still as cold as before. It was as cold as the winter wind. You, at this moment, Wang Chen temporarily forgot about his troubles. He looked at the boy in front of him with a shocked and gloomed expression. He desperately wanted to tear this loathsome little boy into pieces. However, when he thought of the scene where Victor mercilessly killed the snake, he felt extremely powerless. Although he did not know how strong Victor was, he knew one thing and that he was definitely stronger than him. In fact, he was way stronger than him. Humph, how dare you come to Qinyan Valley and cause trouble. Just wait for your downfall. He wanted to kill Victor, but he realized that he wasn't competent in doing so. He glared at him fiercely and said something harsh. Then, with infinite resentment, he returned to the valley. Junior Elder, what should we do? He must have gone to complain. Hua Feng watched Wang Chen leave and was at a loss. Follow him. The reason why Victor did not attack Wang Chen was that he wanted him to lead the way. Father, not long after, Wang Chen's panicked figure moved swiftly like the wind, from the main entrance of Qinyan Valley straight to the backyard. Why are you so worked up? Where have you been? Wang Chen returned to the valley to complain, but what he did not expect was relentless scolding. Father, there are two evil thieves outside who killed the great snake. Wang Ji saw the panic on Wang Chen's face, 
and it didn't seem like he was lying. The most important thing was that the great snake, who had been with him every day, didn't appear with him. What? The great snake is dead. You useless trash, why are you still alive? When he heard Wang Chen say that the giant snake was dead, Wang Ji instantly had a pained expression on his face. After all, the snake was the best remedy for him to break through to the Xientian realm in the future. Now that the snake was dead, there was no hope for him to break through to the Xientian realm anymore. Wang Ji's expression became more and more hideous while looking at Wang Chen, it looked as if he was going to eat him up. Right at this moment. Master, there are two youths outside the gate who want to visit you. A servant quickly walked in and reported. Father, they are the ones who killed the snake, Wang Chen was afraid that Wang Ji would vent out his anger on him. At this moment, when he heard the servant's report, he quickly shifted the blame to Victor. He gave a good explanation, as if it was all Victor's fault. Be asterisk starred. You killed my snake, and I still haven't settled the score with you. How dare you come knocking on my door? With that said, the furious Wang Ji left the backyard and went straight to the gate where Victor was. Outside the gate of Qingyan Valley. Victor stood there with a cold expression, carrying a green steel sword on his back. A breeze blew past, and Victor's long robe swayed in the wind. Although Victor was not tall, the fierce aura radiating from his body acts as a reminder for others to not underestimate him. Behind him, Hua Fong was looking at the Qingyan Valley's gate with a worried expression. Dot to think that a fight could break out later, his palms were sweating profusely. Victor, on the other hand, was calm and collected, as if he was strolling in his own courtyard. Not long after, a group of angry people appeared from the valley. Victor looked over. The leader of the group was a middle-aged man in a white robe. He was scowling and looked at him with rage in his eyes. Behind the middle-aged man, Wang Chen's eyes were wicked. He pointed at Victor and Hua Feng and said, Father, they were the ones who killed the great snake. Hearing Wang Chen's words, Victor carefully observed Wang Ji again. System, check Wang Ji's attribute panel. Name. Wang Ji Cultivation Method. Thunder Fist, for Harmonious Spear Cultivation Talent. Level 9 Spiritual Root. None Cultivation. Advanced Stage of the First Dot Rate Realm, Advanced Stage of the First Dot Rate Realm. After glancing at Wang Ji's attribute panel, Victor's eyes were full of mockery. He had cultivated for decades, but he didn't even manage to reach the Xientian realm. What a waste. It was a pity to leave a martial skill like Thunder Fist with him. Suddenly, Victor's eyes were attracted by two words. Spiritual Root. He remembered clearly that Spiritual Root wasn't part of the attribute panel. But now, it appeared. So, this should be an attribute that appeared after the system had upgraded. In that case, Victor opened his attribute panel. Name Victor Cultivation Method Qinyan Mantra, Max Level, Qinyan Sword Technique, Max Level, Qinyan Mystic Wood Technique, Max Level, Seven Stars Sword Technique, Max Level, Wind Technique, Max Level, Gale Palm, Max Level, Thunder Eagle, Max Level, Eight Extreme Palms, Max Level, Cultivation Talent. Earth.grade beginner level swordsmanship talent. Xian.grade beginner level enlightenment talent. Earth.rank advanced level spiritual root. Nun cultivation level. Xientian realm beginner level download storage. Empty spiritual root. I actually don't have a spiritual root. Seeing the glaring nun on the interface, the corner of Victor's mouth couldn't help but twitch. Because I don't have a spiritual root, I can't sense the spiritual energy of the universe. However, the master can sense the spiritual energy, does it mean that all masters have spiritual roots? Victor suddenly thought of something. F asterisk CK, so the most powerful talent of master is not the talent of enlightenment, but the hidden talent of spiritual roots. Upon making this hypothesis, 
Victor itched to return to the Qingyun sect immediately. Just when Victor was lost in thought, a loud roar woke him up. Kid, how dare you kill my beloved pet? As soon as Wang Ji left the valley, he saw this kid standing by the door with an arrogant expression. Now, seeing that he didn't pay any ounce of respect and even dared to be daydreaming, he immediately yelled. Senior, we did kill that big snake. But, the poisonous snake causes harm, we can't just stand there and wait for death. Seeing that the other party wanted to find an excuse to vent their anger on them, Hua Feng hurriedly explained. After saying that, he took the opportunity to release his second dot rate Relmora. So what? Wang Ji lifted his head and became cocky. The situation was obvious. His stupid son must have provoked the other party first. However, he had to find someone to take responsibility for this matter to release the hatred in his heart. Chapter 38 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Showing respect to cover murderous intent, father, that arrogant kid killed the great snake all by himself. Wang Chen felt his father's domineering aura and stood out proudly, pointing at Victor. After all, it was Victor who had embarrassed him before. Now that he had a chance to take revenge, naturally, he had to take revenge on the main killer first. You said that the great snake was killed by that kid alone. Hearing Wang Chen's words, Wang Ji's expressions changed greatly. After all, the great snake possessed a strength equivalent to the advanced first dot rate realm. And the taller kid's strength was only at second dot rate. It was far from enough to kill the great snake. This meant that the short kid's strength was at least of the first dot rate realm. Although the great snake was at the peak of the first dot rate realm, it still only is a beast. It had no intelligence and would be easy for two people to pin it down and kill it. However, he was also in the first dot rate realm, he assumed that his martial arts skills were definitely much stronger than these two little kids. After all, time is limited. If you spent all your time cultivating, your martial arts skills would be on the weaker side. Hence, Wang Ji was not afraid. However, when he heard his son said that the great snake was killed by Victor alone, he was immediately concerned. His heart instantly became restless. He knew, with his current strength, even he couldn't even defeat the great snake in a one dot on point one battle. And this kid was definitely younger than 15 years old and was able to kill the great snake by himself. Therefore, this kid should be in the Xientian realm. A Xientian practitioner who was not even 15 years old. Little brothers, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Wang Ji wiped the cold sweat from his forehead and glared at his son. Then, as he took a closer look, it seemed that Victor wasn't satisfied with his words. Dot suddenly, he had an idea. He rushed to a servant's side, grabbed the stick in his hand, and swung it directly at Wang Chen. Kacha. Followed by two clear poundings. Ha! Ah. Wang Chen's painful cry sounded in front of everyone, who was stunned. Victor's expression finally showed some changes. Wang Ji was really ruthless as he was breaking his son's limbs with no hesitation. My son slandered you two little brothers. I wonder if the two little brothers are satisfied with this punishment. Wang Ji said with a smile. It was as if the person in front of him was completely unrelated to him. Initially, Victor only wanted to test Wang Ji's strength. He didn't expect Wang Ji to be so decisive and even humbly try to please him. Sure enough, this guy was not a virtuous guy. System, download Wang Ji's thunder fist directly. Victor shouted in his heart. Ding. The system has successfully locked onto the target. Please keep within 100 meters of the target. Victor immediately opened his attribute panel. Now, a download progress bar appeared at the bottom of the panel. It indicated that it would take 40 minutes. As Victor and Wang Ji got closer, the download time became faster. When he was only 3 meters away from Wang Ji, it actually only took around 10 minutes to download Thunder Fist. Wow, after the system upgraded, the download time can be shortened so much. 
Victor sighed in his heart. This was great news for him, and the scope of operations would be even larger in the future. He followed Wang Ji into Qinyan Valley. After passing through several long corridors and three gardens, they finally arrived at the reception hall of Qinyan Valley. I see that the two little brothers have an extraordinary presence, so they must be from a well-known sect. Could you tell me a little, maybe I know someone from your sect. In the reception hall, Wang Ji personally brewed tea and brought it to Victor and Hua Feng. He asked with a smile. Seeing that Wang Ji, as the valley master of Qinyan Valley, was treating them with such hospitality, Hua Feng felt a little embarrassed. He hurriedly introduced, the two of us are here from the Qinyan sect. This is my junior elder. Junior elder. Normally, there was a clear hierarchy in a sect. Honorifics aren't meant to be addressed simply. Just from his junior elder honorific, Wang Ji's mind thought of many things. At such a young age, he had already earned the junior elder title. How terrifying would it be in the future when he's an adult? He was very glad that he had managed to salvage the situation in time. Otherwise, the consequences would have been unimaginable. Ding! Congratulations to Host for successfully downloading the Thunder Fist. The Thunder Fist technique had been stored in the repository. Please check it. Just as he sat down and drank a few sips of tea, the system's voice sounded in Victor's mind. Victor's eyes lit up. He had achieved one of his goals for entering Qinyan Valley. Now, he only had one other goal. Valley Master Wang, do you know if there is a waterfall nearby? Victor asked directly. He wasn't worried about the other party discovering anything. After all, no one would have figured that the tree building technique would be hidden in the deep pool under the waterfall. Waterfall. Wang Ji was curious as well. Don't ask too much. Just tell me where there is one nearby. With the thunder fist in hand, Victor could not be bothered to talk to him. To be honest, if it was possible, he would rather not have any encounters with people like Wang Ji. Seeing that Victor's attitude had suddenly become tough again, Wang Ji did not dare to pry. Then, after thinking for a while, he answered honestly, it's behind the mountain on the right of the valley, about three kilometers away. Valley Master Wang, sorry to bother you. We'll be taking a leave. After successfully obtaining the news, Victor immediately got up and was about to leave. Seeing that Victor and Wang Ji were about to leave. Wang Ji frowned, as he did not want them to leave. He quickly shouted, Little brother, it's almost lunchtime. Why don't we have lunch first and then you two can go check it out? It's not far anyway. What do you think? Hua Feng, who was at the side, was eager to take a break since they had been searching for Qin Yen Valley for the past few days. Junior Elder, why don't we have lunch first and then leave? We finally found Qin Yen Valley. Valley Master Wang rarely invited people in as guests. It's good to have some rest too. Hua Feng saw Wang Ji's sincere invitation and quickly stood up to persuade Victor. After listening to Hua Feng's explanation, Victor could not bring himself to force him to depart immediately. He nodded slightly and agreed. At the same time, seeing that the two of them seemed to have let down their guard, Wang Ji turned around with a fierce expression on his face. A malicious glimmer flashed across his eyes. Two little brothers, have a seat first. I'll go arrange servants to prepare delicious food for the two distinguished guests. Looking at Wang Ji's departing figure, Victor's eyes flickered. Five minutes later, Wang Ji finally returned and swiftly sat on the chair beside Hua Feng. The two of them began to chat, and the conversation became more and more harmonious as if they were old friends who had been apart many years. Victor, who was at the side, took advantage of this time to absorb the thunder fist. Ten minutes later, finally, Perhaps due to his strength being in the Xientian realm, Victor only felt a slight discomfort in his body. The full dot grade thunder fist had already been thoroughly grasped by him. Chapter 39 You are listening at Novel Full Audio. 
power of the thunder fist half an hour later. The servants of Qingyan Valley gradually brought out all kinds of delicious food. Come, little brothers, try it and see if the flavor suits your taste. Wang Ji said while he pointed towards the dishes and poured wine for Victor. Hua Feng followed Wang Ji's introduction and looked at each dish one by one. Wild boar meat, tiger bone soup, rabbit meat, venison, snake soup, bird's nest, and so on were all available. Suddenly, his eyes could not be moved away, and his mouth was wide open. Especially when he smelled the aroma of the food, he felt that his saliva was about to leak from his mouth. This was not Hua Feng's fault. After all, the Qinyun sect emphasized on practicing asceticism and ate vegetarian meals mostly. Little brothers, why don't you try this tiger bone soup first? This great soup has beneficial effects which will strengthen the body of us martial arts practitioners, it will also increase your appetite. Wang Ji was as enthusiastic as ever. He greeted the two of them while he personally served the soup for Victor. Valley Master Wang, how dare we as junior elder and brother accept such enthusiastic hospitality from you? Seeing Wang Ji's actions, Victor, who had been silent all this while, stared at him and suddenly spoke. Wang Ji listed his head and met Victor's cold gaze. His pupils contracted. Then, he quickly returned to normal and laughed loudly. Little brother, you're treating me like an outsider. You're distinguished guests from afar, so I naturally have to entertain you well. If word gets out that I, Wang Ji of Qingyan Valley, don't know how to treat guests, then my reputation will be tarnished. Wang Ji said with a sad face. After listening to these words, Hua Feng, who was at the side, couldn't stand it any longer. From Hua Feng's point of view, the valley master was willing to put down his status and forget about the past. However, his junior elder was making things difficult for him. He was crossing the line. Hua Feng was about to comfort Wang Ji and advise his junior elder. However, he noticed Victor's cold gaze and chickened out. Victor turned his head. When he met Wang Ji's honest expression again, the corner of his mouth curved as he said slowly, Valley Master Wang, you specially brought so many dishes for our sake. The two of us won't be able to finish them all. If the great elder, who loves good food and is hardworking and conserving, found out that we were squandering and wasting food outside, he would definitely heavily punish us. Therefore, I propose to invite the noblewoman and your dear son out to dine together. In that case, this will be your Qingyan Valley's family banquet, and we will just be passerbys. This way, even if the great elder finds out, we won't be punished. At the side. Hua Feng heard Victor's words and seemed to have imagined his master's solemn expression. He also began to persuade Wang Ji. Yes, Valley Master Wang, my master is very strict with discipline. You've served so many dishes for me and Junior Elder. Even if we include you, we won't be able to finish them all. This, Wang Ji's expression suddenly changed. He didn't expect Hua Feng to actually side with Victor. I'm sorry, it is indeed my fault. I'll ask them to come over and have a meal together. The moment Wang Ji turned around, the killing intent in his eyes were almost overflowing. Not long after, Wang Ji walked in with a beautiful middle dot aged woman. Meanwhile, Wang Chen, whose limbs were crippled, was carried into the living room. At this moment, Wang Chen could no longer bear the pain of his broken leg. He was already unconscious. Even so, his pained groans could still be heard from time to time. Then, everyone took their respective seats. Victor looked at Wang Ji expressionlessly, but he was sneering in his heart. This Wang Ji was impressively capable. He was actually able to prevent his wife from throwing a fit. No one knew what he had say, but he was able to make her dine at the same table with someone who was responsible for the breaking of her son's limbs. Come, come, everyone is here now. Little brothers, hurry up and eat. Don't you still have to a journey to continue? Wang Ji greeted them with a smile again. As he said that, he quickly picked up a piece of pork and placed it in his wife's bowl. 
After looking at Wang Ji picking up the food, Hua Feng finally couldn't hold it in anymore. He picked up the chopsticks and went for the largest piece of venison. Finally, he saw that Victor and Hua Feng were willing to start eating. Suddenly, Wang Ji pretended as if he had thought of something and said, Little brother, don't just eat the vegetables. Drink some soup. The tiger bone soup will lose its efficacy if it gets cold. Wang Ji, who was at the side, smiled slightly. A completely different expression from what he had. On the surface, Victor was just eating vegetables, but in truth, he had been paying attention to his expression. Naturally, he could tell that there was something wrong with the soup. Meanwhile, Victor did not wait for Hua Feng to take the soup. He proceeded and used the spoon and poured a big bowl of tiger bone soup for Wang Ji's wife. Madam, I'm really sorry. I have a lot of responsibility for what happened to your precious child. Although it was not caused by me, I was indirectly related. Therefore, I take this opportunity to pour you this bowl of tiger bone soup as an apology. I hope you can forgive me. Looking at Victor's sincere expression, Wang Ji's wife couldn't refuse. She looked at Wang Ji and saw that he didn't say anything. Okay, I'll drink it. As she said that, Mrs. Wang picked up the porcelain bowl and drank it in one gulp. Seeing that Mrs. Wang had swallowed all the soup, Victor glanced at Wang Ji and saw that his face was twitching mildly. He couldn't help but snicker in his heart. When Hua Feng saw that the ladle was available, he wanted to try a bowl of tiger bone soup as well. Bang! Hua Feng suddenly felt a sharp pain in his calf, as if he had been struck by an iron rod. When he turned his head to look, Junior Elder Victor looked at him seriously and shook his head slightly. Although he didn't know what Victor was thinking, he understood that he shouldn't drink this soup, although he didn't exactly know why. Dot after all, his youngest uncle hadn't drink it, and he was eager to drink the soup, which embarrassed Qin Yun's sex reputation. On the other side of the dining table. At this moment, Wang Ji's face was getting uglier and uglier, and his hands that were under the dining table were clenched tightly. If one paid close attention, one would notice that his body was actually slightly trembling. Bang! At this moment, Mrs. Wang, who was eating rabbit meat, fell to the ground, bleeding from her seven orifices of the head. Shoo! At this moment, a fist's shadow condensed from true chi, mixed with lightning appeared out of thin air. The speed of this fist was extremely fast, like lightning, and it smashed towards Victor's head. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Victor, who was at the side, had already activated his max level wine technique fully through the accumulation of energy. In an instant, his body disappeared, avoiding Wang Ji's thunder fist. When he reappeared, he was behind Wang Ji. Then, he threw a punch. It was also a thunder fist. Ah, Wang Ji screamed in pain. A shadow first with the power of thunder and lightning pierced through his back straight through his chest. Puff, a large amount of blood mixed with damaged internal organs spurted out from his mouth. He looked at Victor with a face full of disbelief. Thunder Fist How do you know Thunder Fist? Wang Ji endured the pain of his internal organs crushing and questioned loudly. Also, how did you know that I would poison the tiger bone soup? Chapter 40 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Whereabouts of the tree-building technique Wang Ji was very confident in his disguise. From the beginning to the end, there was not a single flaw in his facade. However, until now, he still could not understand how Victor would know that he had poisoned the tiger bone soup. Therefore, he was very puzzled. Now that he was bound to die, he wanted to understand this matter before he died. Go ask God. Victor was too lazy to explain to a dying man. Moreover, Wang Ji was a despicable and vicious person who would use immoral methods to achieve his goal. A person who could break his son's limbs with a straight face, and even when his wife drank the poison soup and died from the poison, he still continued to carry out the plot till the very end. Therefore, as long as he was not completely dead, Victor would not show him any mercy. 
Soon, Victor gathered all his strength to unleash the max level thunder fist and crushed Wang Ji's head. Wang Ji whose strength was already weaker than Victor's, was now heavily injured and had difficulty moving. Before Victor who was in the Xientian realm, he stood no chance to fight back. In just a few breaths time, under Victor's rapid attacks, Wang Ji's life had ended quickly. Hua Feng looked at Wang Ji who was lying on the ground, was beaten into a pulp, and had blood gushing out like a fountain. His mouth trembled in fear. Currently, he still hadn't fully understood the situation. Wasn't everyone just fine three minutes ago? Why did the junior elder kill Master Wang? Suddenly, Hua Feng felt his mind being bombarded with questions. He had so many thoughts that he felt like his head had grown bigger from thinking. Hua Feng looked at Victor in confusion. He hoped that Victor could give him an answer. Victor obviously saw Hua Feng's confusion, but he didn't have the time to explain it to him slowly now. Let's go. Victor wanted to slash Wang Chen to death in the shortest time possible. Victor activated his true qi and waved his hand. A fierce thunder fist shadow pierced through Wang Chen's heart and shattered it. Then, he activated the wind technique and rushed out of the door. Before the others in the valley could react, Victor took Hua Feng and exited the gate of Qinyan Valley. Half an hour later. What did you say? Wang Ji's family was murdered. The faction closest to Qinyan Valley was also one of the few people who could speak to the master of Qinyan Valley. In the Dongshu Pavilion. Wu Hao, who was eating lunch, suddenly stood up when he heard the urgent report from his servant. He cried out in disbelief. He was so shocked that he had accidentally knocked over his rice bowl. Master, although it sounds unbelievable, it's absolutely true. Let's go and have a look. It is impossible for Wu Hao to still have an appetite after hearing this news. This news was too shocking. The cunning and shrewd master of Qinyan Valley, Wang Ji, was actually killed in his own home. Moreover, according to the servant who passed on the message, the killers were two teenagers. If it weren't for the servant's desperate cry for help, he would have suspected that the servant was joking. Not long after, Wu Hao and the others arrived at Wang Ji's living room. Almost everything in the living room was normal. There were barely any signs of battle. By the dining table, Mrs. Wang laid on the ground with blood flowing out of her face. On the other side, Wang Chen, who was lying on the stretcher, had a fist-dot-sized cavity in his heart, which was soaked in blood. The person who had the most tragic death was the valley master of Qinyan Valley, Wang Ji. His head and upper body had all collapsed. It was obvious that he had been continuously beaten up by a fist technique. Dut, these injuries, were caused by the thunder fist technique. Don't tell me those two teens also possess the thunder fist technique. How is that possible? According to his knowledge, Wang Ji knew the Thunder Fist because his grandfather, Wang Lu, was Taoist Yi Chen's disciple. After hundred years of evolution, there were probably many families who practiced Thunder Fist. Thus, Wu Hao was not surprised that people outside of Qinyan Valley knew of the Thunder Fist. Instead, he was surprised because Victor and Hua Feng could perform the Thunder Fist at such a young age. It is important to know that the thunder fist was a very brilliant fist technique. To practice the thunder fist, one needed a solid foundation of internal energy. Because the performing of thunder fist exhausts a great deal of inner chi. Furthermore, if one's cultivation level was too low, it was impossible to execute it. This is, Wu Hao seemed to have smelled something. He walked over Mrs. Wang's corpse and headed towards the dining table. He scooped a spoonful of soup with the ladle and gave it a whiff. He immediately understood the situation. Sigh, he brought this upon himself. He can't live with himself. Wu Hao, who was familiar with Wang Ji's personality, sighed. Then, he walked out of the courtyard and instructed the servant outside, find a day and bury him. On the other side. Victor and Hua Feng had already arrived in front of the waterfall that Wang Ji mentioned. 
standing on the peak of the mountain, they looked across. The rapid waterfall set off huge waves and plunged towards the deep pool at the bottom of the cliff. He finally found it. Although Victor knew that the tree building technique was in the deep pool not far below him. But now, he had to figure out how to retrieve the technique. Although he was already in the Sientian realm, he still could not ignore the sheer cliff and rocks. If he jumped down directly, he would definitely die if he hit a hidden rock. Therefore, he had to find the hidden route mentioned in the guide. It was introduced in the guide that if they first passed through a small cave they would enter the karst cave under the deep pool. The entrance should be somewhere by the foot of this mountain peak. This method may be time.consuming, but it was the safest and steadiest method. On the side. Hua Fong, who had been standing behind Victor, was wiping the cold sweat off his face. After thinking carefully along the way, he thought about Junior Elder Victor's actions. Now, he had essentially figured out the whole story. He subsequently broke out in a cold sweat due to fear. At the same time, he was glad that he had Junior Elder Victor by his side. If it wasn't for Junior Elder Victor, the consequences would have been unimaginable. On the surface, Wang Ji was extremely enthusiastic. Who would have thought that under his smiling face, there was a heart that was prepared to kill them any time? However, after experiencing this, he had grown a lot. Hua Feng, go down the mountain and try to find as many vines as possible. The more the better. What about you, Junior Elder? I'll take a look around first. Remember, we'll be back here to gather when the time comes. After saying that, Victor cast the wind technique and began to explore along the edge of the cliff. Since the guide mentioned that one could reach the karst cave in ten minutes from the entrance of the cave. This meant that the entrance of the cave was not far from the deep pool. His current idea was to implement both possibilities at the same time. It would be best if he could find the hidden cave without going down the cliff. If not, they would have to risk going down the cliff.